Part 17, Hunting for a Dog Man. When hunting for a dog man, there are various things that need to be considered and understood. For instance, once shot, a hunter might find blood trails that lead to nowhere or vanish completely. Second, certain sound frequencies attract them, like low frequency coyote calls, but generally they don't respond to calls. Third, corn in a feeder draws them in, Fourth, a hunting technique called ghosting can be used, meaning dog man hunters can leave bait, act like they're leaving the area, and come back stealthily to catch a glimpse. Fifth, try to hunt with the sun to your back so animals can't see you. Sixth, hunting a dog man is like hunting humans because of their extreme intelligence. Seventh, stay down wind, meaning keep the wind to your face because of their extraordinary sense of smell. Eighth, try to knock down your human scent with a camel charcoal suit. Ninth, you should mimic dog man screams and howls. Tenth, play baby cry sounds from your cell phone since they prefer to eat young human flesh. Eleventh, one can cut down woods around one's house as a possible tactic. Twelfth, shoot only if you know you're gonna die anyway, since guns have little effect on them. Thirteenth, dear distress calls might work. Fourteenth, using infrared drones should allow you to get eyes on one. Fifteenth, when escaping, a dog man will go into a tree line and disappear as it blends in there. Finally, to capture a dog man live, one needs A. A team of army rangers B. A zoologist C. A big game expert tracker D a technical systems tracker person, and E, a whole lot of money, as was discussed in Dogman Encounters episode 33.